Hi there, it's me, Nakimbe. I'm so sorry. I wanted to call everybody individually to have this conversation, but that was going to take up a lot of time. And I want you to know that when I help you with your marketing and your mobile app, you'll also get some business coaching from me. And that's one of the things that you're going to learn is you have to just be efficient with your time and have great processes. So instead of calling all 13 of you and the additional 23 that didn't make it into the top 13, I figured let me just make a video and let everybody know uh, what's going on and how it's going to work and give you some tips on marketing. I want you to know that what's happening right now is actually marketing. When I asked you guys to give me your, um, you know, to send a text to get a free marketing plan and a mobile app that was mobile marketing right there I got I think 36 leads in one minute and um, then I'll show you how to follow up with people and that's all marketing even what I'm doing right now is marketing I made you guys a video that uh, showed who the top 13 were so it created curiosity It was kind of like a game let me go in and see you know if I qualified did I was I one of the top people and I was speaking with you and engaging with you so it was almost like we were having a relationship and now I'm here and I'm making a video so you met me live in person and now you're sort of it's almost like we're actually interacting through video. That's one of the things I'm going to teach you that's happening right now in marketing is that video and video consumption is really huge. All of the big enterprises that I work with, that's the way they're moving towards video. So basically, like I told you, my goal really is to bring Wall Street marketing techniques to small business owners and entrepreneurs so that they can experience the kind of success that they deserve. Uh, you may not always have access to you know, a top marketing firm because it's super expensive, but I think that everybody deserves to succeed. I know what it's like to have the heart of an entrepreneur, and I know that you want to do it for you and your family, and I don't think that uh, a lack of marketing knowledge should be the reason. And I also don't think that you should spend time trying to become a marketing expert. I think that you should be out there being a dance instructor or a beauty consultant or a, a coach or a public speaker or a photographer or you know whatever your business is you should be doing that and leave the marketing up to me okay so this is how it works I have a podcast and what I'm going to do is invite you to come on to my podcast and we're going to talk about your business we're going to find out a little bit about you know why you got into your business just all of that kind of stuff we really want to delve into it and the reason for that is because it's going to help us to figure out your brand, position, your brand positioning and your differentiator and what makes you unique and what stands out. And we can use that as a part of your branding and your selling and marketing message that's going to differentiate you from everybody else and we're going to frame your whole marketing plan around that. Uh, yeah, so in the podcast we find out a little bit about your business and uh, where you are now and then where you want to go because it's one thing to just have marketing but you really should have a plan and as we develop your marketing plan depending on how long our relationship continues um, and, and to what level you decide to work with me I will teach you all of these different things <clears throat> pardon me also podcasting is also the next big thing which is why I'm doing podcasting and why I want to get you comfortable with podcasting because again from you for you to stand out from your competition podcasting is you know, that's a, the next big thing. Another big thing that's coming up now is live stream. So, you know, we're going to introduce a whole bunch of ideas. Some of them are going to be digital. Some of them are going to be not, not digital. Uh, but you're going to get the whole package. And once we get into your brand and who you are, then we'll be able to, you know, we'll get into some real branding stuff with colors and fonts and logos and all that kind of stuff. But that's really just surface stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. That's what people think marketing is, and it's not. That's just whatever. We're going to find out who your core audience is, who your target audience is, and we're going to build personas around them. Here's a great example. Let's say that you're selling a doll. You know, most people would want to put up an ad say, hey, you know, we have a great doll for $19.99. It has long hair or short hair or curly hair or whatever and all these different features and a big house and a car by the doll. You know, that's completely wrong because who who are all the different people who might buy a doll? A teacher might buy a doll for her class. A therapist might buy a doll for therapy. A parent obviously might buy a doll for their child. A grandparent might buy a doll for their child. So if you have one marketing message and you're trying to target all those people, you're not going to do it. Once we get into your branding and we find out who your core audience is, 
then we start to look at different campaigns around each of those people. So we would do an ad for teachers. We would find out where teachers are hanging out. We would customize banners, videos, content, et cetera, et cetera, blog posts, forums, et cetera, around that persona. And then we find out, you know, well, okay, why would a parent want to buy? Is it for Christmas? Is it for birthdays? And we do whole campaigns around that. And then we look at, you know, the grandparents. When would a grandparent want to buy? And what, what's the messaging? You've got to think about the different pictures you would use. Obviously, you're going to use different pictures, you know, for grandparents and teachers and parents. So we go through all of that. And once we figure out all the different personas, we figure out where they are and what's the best way to market to them. Is it online? Is it offline? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it ads? Is it YouTube ads? Is it Facebook ads? Is it Twitter? And once we figure out the different sort of channels where they're supposed to be, then we have to customize each thing for it. So for example, you can't have the same messaging on Twitter that you're going to have on Facebook. Facebook, you can write paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and Twitter has a limited character count, right? And then you might want to do a video. Again, it's all going to have different imagery, different wording and you know, so we learn about that and so much more that is literally just the tip of the iceberg. But by the end of the whole project, you will have a complete marketing plan that you can go away and execute. Um, yeah, and so that's basically how it works. So if you're interested, I don't even know what to tell you right now because I didn't really plan anything. Um, if you're interested, how about this? Send me an email to... Uh, Nakimbe, N-A-K-I-M-B-E, Baobab, B-A-O-B-A-B, at Outlook, O-U-T-L-O-O-K, dot com. Okay, yeah, send me an email and say, yeah, I'm interested. We'll book a time, we'll go to the studio, we'll do the whole thing. It's going to be about an hour and a half. I'm going to send you a list of the questions that I'm going to have in advance so that um, you know, you're not too verbose and we don't go over because once the time is up, the time is up. So if you want to get half a plan, that's because somebody was talking too much. If I talk too much, it's okay. We won't uh, penalize you for that because sometimes I go off on tangents if I happen to find a teachable moment which this is a teachable moment right now. I want you to know that I am already setting up expectations for you. So I made a request, a CTA, that's a call to action, and I've asked you to send me an email. I said I gave you my personal email, nakimbebeobab at outlook.com, because I want you to feel like, oh my gosh, who is publicly going to give their um, personal email address, but I want us to feel connected. I want us to feel trusted. So I want you to know when I'm helping you with your marketing, I'm not just doing this fluffy stuff. I'm doing serious, serious psychological marketing that's going to help you to be successful. So yes, I may go off on tangents when we have teachable moments like I'm teaching you right now. So I've already talked to you about um, you know, gamification, which is, you know, having everybody go to YouTube and see where they are on the list. And uh, now the video is also about communication. Um, I've also taught you about, you know, a bunch of different stuff already. But yeah, so I've set up expectations for you so that I know that if I send you another email, chances are you'll open it because, you know, I'm telling you, hey, this is step one, there may be step two. So I'm setting you up so that I'll have a higher open rate when I send you the email. Additionally, I've laid it out step by step by step by step instruction so that you know exactly what you're going to get at the end of it. You've already made a decision if you're going to go ahead, you know, and work with me or not, or you wouldn't be still watching the video. But the fact that you're still here means that, uh, you know, that means that you're interested. And it's because I laid it out clearly so you know you can make an informed decision about whether or not you want to move ahead. And far too often, business owners want to say, buy my product, buy my service, buy me, come with me. And it's like, well, really, why? What is it going to look like? Let me experience it before I actually commit. These are all things that you're going to get in your marketing plan. So I'm super excited. And of course, on top of that, you're going to get, you know, a mobile app. Um, if it makes sense, like we'll do a mobile app anyway. But if it doesn't make sense for your business, it doesn't make sense for your business. But yeah, that's how it works. Okay. I'm out of breath, um, so don't forget, send an email to Nakimbe, N-A-K-I-M, like Mary, B-E-B-A-O-B-A-B, -E -B -A -B at Outlook.com, and uh, say, yeah, I'm interested. We'll set up a time, we'll do the podcast, you'll get a marketing plan, and take it away. Bob's your uncle. Bye.